Hello everybody and welcome to this short video which will guide you through the steps of accessing Reality Cloud Studio powered by HXDR for the first time. So I'm currently in my email and once you have placed your order or, or uh, you know, you've got your hardware bundle alongside Reality Cloud Studio, you will receive a voucher code to the email uh, which you have provided to us. And this is a one-time use code which allows you to set up your account and start working with Reality Cloud Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and click this link and this will take us straight to the sign up page where we can input our details. So I'm just going to put in some information here. Okay, so Paul Burrows, uh, email. And I'm going to add a password. So I don't want you to see the password, obviously. There you go. Average strength, obviously, that's entirely up to you what you uh, what you put in there. But um, you can also, at this point, choose your preferred measurement system, metric or imperial. But it doesn't matter if you want to change that later in the platform as well. So I'm now just going to click next. Uh, now I'll put in my my information about my company. So Hexagon. Now this is where you can start typing the address. So I'm just going to start. I'm going to put Michigan drive in Milton Keynes because this is where the headquarters in the UK is now I can start filling out some more information so you can just add your information here street number not applicable not applicable phone number I'm just going to put my number in here and VAT number not applicable in this situation so if anything is wrong there when I click next it's going to flag it so let's see we'll just press next all good. So now we just have to confirm that we're happy with um, the authority to enter the agreement. The customer and new users will access and use HXDR for commercial use only, and that you have read, understood, and agreed to the terms of con uh, terms and conditions, the privacy policy, acceptable use policy, and the documentation, and obviously any marketing communications. So of course, I'm going to tick all these, and I would assume that you guys will want to read these and make sure that you're happy with all of them. I'm also going to consent to receive electronic marketing, but that is entirely optional. So uh, that's up to you whether you click this. And once we're happy, we can click sign up. Okay, and we now got this message that says we sent you a confirmation email, please click the verification link. So I'm just going to jump back to my Chrome account. And I'm going to go to my inbox. You'll see now I've got welcome to HXDR, okay? Please verify your email account. So I'm going to click verify, and we're now able to log in. Now I'm just gonna make sure, I, I think this is saved this, uh, yeah, so I, could, I don't have to input that again, but I can now log directly into the platform. So this is the first time that I'm logging in to Reality Cloud Studio, and we're now into the platform. So your first thing you'll notice it's split into two windows. On the left hand side, we've got the content program data store. We're not going to cover this at all today. Um, on the right hand side, Reality Cloud Studio. And you can also see that currently we have no projects. Now on the left hand side, you've got the hamburger menu, which allows you to jump to various locations. And at the bottom where you've got your um, name, your icon, you can click on here and you can see your profile, company information, users, subscriptions, orders and billing. Now, of course, we can also log straight out. It's also worth noting at this point, you can contact sales and you can contact support directly from this uh, this little tab. On the right hand side, you can also contact support. So if you click that button, you're able to access uh, the support menu, send a ticket. Um, if there's any problems with you know uploads, downloads or any part of the process, you'll get someone come back to you very, very quickly. So obviously I can go to my profile. I can add an image if I want to. Yeah, again, like I said, we can change the uh, the system here. We can change the password. Um, I can add a job a job uh, title if I would like to. Um, under here as well, we've got company information. So I'm going to go into company information first. We can update and edit all of that if we want to. Very simple. Users. Now at the minute there is only me, and I'm the admin. I can now invite members directly using this option just here. So I click invite members, you can add 
the email address and you can choose their account role. So whether you want to have multiple administrators, maintainers, employees, employees is kind of lowest level access. There's also a viewer type for external parties, um, but typically you'll probably add multiple employees into an account, maybe a maintainer um, if they're a senior level employee and obviously if you need any more administrators allowing you to remove users and check your usage and everything as well. But you can add a quick message there as well and then press add. You can also click this button here and that will allow you to learn more about the company roles. So it will tell you everything that you need to know about each of those roles and what they have access to and what they can do. So I'll just close that down. Allow you to take a quick screenshot for later on for a reference. So that's users. Then we've got subscriptions, which we're not going to talk about, orders, which we don't have to worry about because that's related primarily to the content store and billing. Now billing here, um, you can see um, there's no invoices uh, because this will have been billed directly. And then you've got your payment settings. Now there is no um, credit card associated with a one year subscription for either the one terabyte or three terabyte options. So you don't need to worry about your, um, your card being stored there, but you do and you should check that your billing details are correct. And if you need to, you can update those details directly there and resave them if you want to make any changes. So that is everything within that little um, section there. As I said before, if we wanted to contact support, we click support and it will open up a, a support tab. We can put in all the information, uh, the subject, the description. The other way that we can contact support is by clicking this right hand button and it will flag again. Um, all the information we need to input. But this has the ability to capture and annotate the screen or you'll record your screen. So if there's a very specific issue that you want to flag, you can do that using this method. And this is powered by a system called UserSnap, which is absolutely fantastic. So that's everything in there. And we can go back. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump into Reality Cloud Studio from the hamburger menu on the left hand side. And this is where we're going to start creating content and adding projects directly to Reality Cloud Studio. Now at the minute I can't search any projects because I don't have any, uh, but I'm going to create one. So I click create project. I can create a project title. So I'm going to say my first project. Um, project description. This is the first time I have used RCS. Location. Now what I'm going to put here, I'm going to put in the address of um, the office, but you can put in any location here and that will save it. What's really nice is you can put labels. So you can put UK, uh, testing, demo, um, I don't know, let's put RTC 360, for example, if that's the type of scanner that was used for the project. You can also at this stage, if you want to, you can add a cover image. So you can just drag and drop um, or add a file there. And you can also add team members. So as you add more team members, you can just click from the drop down list or you can search their email directly there and add them to that project. Um, if you want to add external members, we'll cover that in a later step, but that's for adding team members. And now we're going to click create project. That is done. There is our project. We've got multiple ways to view projects. We can view in this list view or tabler view. And at the minute there is no data in there. So if I click into the project, you can see there is no assets whatsoever. Once every 24 hours, you will be asked to, conf uh, to confirm that you have read and you confirm the terms for uploading data, which is outlined in this little document just there. Um, I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to press confirm. That message disappears. So you've got your assets and we haven't got anything in there yet. We also have project members. You can, you can see it's just me for the time being. And you have project details, which of course you can um, update all of this under the project settings tab. You can also leave any comments in here directly for other users so that they can pick that up. But what we're going to do now is just show you that process of adding data directly in here. And I'm going to use the drag and drop method. So I'm just going to go into my folder and we're going to go to my demo data sets and I'm going to drag and drop this LGS file from my colleague directly into the window. So all I do drag and drop and that process of uploading is now starting. And whilst that's carrying on in the background, I can now do whatever else that I want to do within the platform that will just continue. We can check the status by clicking on uploads down here. But of course I can now just navigate away from this page and carry on working directly in the solution. So um, that is basically it for now. What we can do is uh, we can directly from the project click project settings. So we can update all that information from here. 
And when the asset is uploaded and finalized, we'll be able to get information about the asset as well. But you can see that that is now processing. So that will take the LGS file, it will process the point cloud, it will process the imagery. What it won't do is create a mesh. So we would have to trigger meshing as a separate step and that's because it's it's completely optional and meshing will count against your yeah, your usage allowance so it's entirely up to you whether you want to do that but what we'll do is at this stage um thank you very much for setting up your account creating your first project and we'll then guide you through the next steps of working with those assets and looking at all the tools directly within the asset view within reality cloud studio so you should now be up and running with your account super easy um, if there's any problems whatsoever, contact us directly using either of those support methods which we just highlighted and we look forward to showing you more about the solution in our next series of updates and videos.